What's good, y'all? You already know what it is, man. This is T. Paris, a.k.a. the Young Marvin Gaye. This rap shit, most original, most creative, most in tune with the times, and I'm sort of like your inspiration. And this is P's Perspective, man. But let's not waste no time. Let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Today's topic, we're going to talk about accountability. Before we get to the roundtable discussion, I want to ask y'all, who knows what accountability is? Somebody give me the definition of accountability. All right, listen. Before I even got into this, I went and looked the word up. So let me share with y'all the definition of accountability for those who are unaware. Accountability. An obligation to account for one's actions, accept the responsibilities, and share the results in a manner that is visible to all. So that's a highly packed definition right there, right? I think when, when we think about accountability, you got to think about it in, in different terms. You got an obligation first. There's an obligation to account for one's actions. Two, you got to accept, you have to be willing to accept responsibility. And three, you have to share the results in a manner that are visible to all. So being accountable for something is not, it's not doing something and then running and hiding. It's being 100% responsible. Know who you are and know what you do to represent who you are. That's what accountability is. Now, what I did is I broke down three subcategories that we could talk about accountability in. And I'm going to give some examples and I'm going to give my opinions and then we're going to wrap this thing on up. The first subcategory I want to talk about is, is, is the household in, in, inside the home. Okay, how many times have you seen a situation where you have a parent that is expressing a deep concern for their child? Yo, I can't control my child. They run in the streets all hours of the night. They talking back. They want to put their hands on me. They selling drugs and anything along those lines. How many times have you heard that scenario? Now, my question to you is why do you think these scenarios exist? In my opinion... I think that a lot of young parents are raising their children in a household where they're dealing with peerships as opposed to parenting skills. Let me say that again. In some of these households, you have young adults who are raising their children as peers as opposed to being parents and being responsible. So let me give you an example of that. You, you, got, you, you have a, a, a child and you have to do homework and it's Friday night, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you're supposed to be doing homework with them, but you and your friends have decided y'all going to go out. Now, while they're doing their homework, they're asking you questions. But instead of you telling your friends, yo, let me do this and then I'm going to attend the yard. You getting dressed, you talking on the phone, you trying to do homework. Now, what's the message that you send to your child? You know, the homework doesn't take precedent in this situation. And you're, you're letting them pay attention to you get dressed and... And, and, and listen to your conversation with your friends and what you're about to do. And you're, you're not looking at that like there's anything wrong with that. So as your child gets older and they start to harbor some of these habits that you're placing upon them, they no longer look at you as the authoritative figure. They look at you as their homeboy, their homegirl. Oh, that's, that's my people. That's my ma do. You know what I'm saying? We have to get back to parenting. Where the parent was the parent and the child was the child. Now, let, let me step outside to the extended family because a lot of households don't even have, you know, the mom and the dad at home. Some of us are being raised by our aunts and our uncles or grandparents like I was. Now, when I stepped outside my apartment, I was raised by this African proverb, it takes a village to raise a child. So when I was outside, if I was doing wrong, my old timers would pull me to the side and let me know. Yo, you belong in the park. I don't want to see you out here doing this. It's too late for you to be out here. Don't make me go and tell your grandmother you out here, you know what I'm saying, misbehaving and things of that nature. And while at that time I might not have liked it, as I look back in hindsight, it made me a better man for what it is. It showed me that. Even though my mom and my pop wasn't there to help me, I had some people that was outside that my moms and my pops respected that was willing to do the job. Again, it takes a nation or it takes a village to raise a child. So they help him by doing the job that my mom and my dad didn't do. But this is where I think the disconnect comes. When I talk to my peers, a lot of times I hear them say things like, yo, this young generation, they wow, yo, they don't want to listen, they don't want to pay attention. But again, that stemmed from the first situation we spoke about where you got parents that are raising their children as their peers. So now when you go to tell that young man, yo, I don't want you standing out here in the corner, his response is, yo, who you talking to? You ain't talking to me like that. I'm grown. I'm going to do what I want to do. In my opinion, we have to get back to that point in time where as an OG or as an older man, you would school these young men and these young women about what's going on out here in the world. 
that there's no place for a young man or a young woman on these street corners. Because there's a lot of violence going on out here, a lot of drug selling going on, a lot of gunshots going on out here. And if you care about your child, you would look to somebody else the same way you would want them to look to your child. You, don't, you understand what I'm saying? So if you're standing out there, why you can't take the same concern to steer that child in the right positive direction as you would want somebody to do for your child? Right? Now for my third subcategory, I want to talk about the social media. You know, we turn the computer on, I see people posting pictures of guns, weed, um, cocaine, dope, whatever, all of that stuff. And, and I'm not here to condemn anybody for, for, for any of their actions. But again, being accountable for something is taking an obligation to account for one's actions. So when you put that up there, you're responsible for everybody that sees that. And then you got people liking it, sharing it, commenting. You're just as guilty. You're just as guilty because... When, when we was out here doing things, we lived by a certain code and a certain, you know, moral, certain set of principles. That's all thrown out the window now. When you like or share a comment on something, you're basically co-signing whatever it is that they're doing. Accountability is a revolving door. It's a two-way street. So the same way that I have to be accountable for my mistakes, the people who stand around me, and cheer me on and pat me on the back and let me know, yeah, that's hot, that's fly, whatever. They have to be accountable too for my wrongdoings because you edged me on. You put the battery in my back to make me feel that this was cool. Yo, I, I, I could go so, so much further and get so much more in depth. But again, this is going to be a round table discussion. And I, I just want your feedback. I want to know what you think. I want to know what you feel. I want to know if you can relate to these situations that I brought to the table. Again, my name is T. Paris. The young Marvin Gaye is rap shit. Most original, most creative, most in tune with the times. I'm sort of like your inspiration. This is Peace Perspective. If you want to chime in, you got a comment, I just encourage you. Please leave your comment below in the comment section on the YouTube page. Or leave your comment on the tparis.com in the comment section page. Other than that, yo, you can email me at tparis music group one. That's tparis, P-A-R-R-I-S, music group, the number one, at Gmail. Y'all take care. Y'all have a blessed day and toast to the town. Peace.